Well, it's Friday. I'm going camping. Camping with Darby. Got the bin on the front there for firewood. I'm gonna bring some from home, but I don't want the critters in the van with me, especially for sleeping at night. Nothing worse than finding a spider in there with you. Anyways, so we're gonna hit the road, got some firewood, getting a few things together, and it's a beautiful day. It's gonna be a cold one though. I'm gonna keep that fire roaring there. Try to keep Derby from sneaking into the van in the middle of the night. <laughs> Poor Darby, he's sleeping in a tent tonight. I think it's supposed to go down to like five or something like that. Well, the fall is here, I guess. I don't know. I'm sad that summer's over, but I do like the fall camping, that's for sure. Uh, sleeping in a van when it's 30 degrees isn't ideal, but in the fall you can turn on a bit of heat and be totally comfy. I got a diesel heater in here now, so I'm, uh, I'm okay with the cooler weather. And I'm going camping with Darby. Good old Darby. Should be a fun weekend, it always is with Darby. Now Darby's sleeping in a tent. So I did bring lots of firewood to uh, keep them warm so that I don't find them in my van at 2 in the morning, frozen. <laughs> ah, poor Darby. Anyways, should be interesting going to uh, a place in uh, Quebec, Canada called uh, Notre Dame's Low. And we're, it's a real nice spot. We're there uh, about a month ago, I guess, as well. And, Really, uh, really beautiful spot, nice and quiet. Not a lot of light pollution, so you get a real nice view of the stars if there's no clouds. So, it's about an hour and 10 minutes away from my house. Uh, I'm on my way now, I just left, so we'll be there before dark. Darby's meeting up with me there, I believe, on his motorcycle. So he's doing a little tent camping, like I said. So it should be fun. Anyways, we'll show you what it's uh, like out there. Nothing crazy, it's just me and Darby and a few beers and uh, fire and uh, should be a relaxing night. The wives are staying home tonight, so. Un grand café, deux laits, deux sucres, s'il vous plaît. Ça va être tout. Merci. There's Mr. Derby, and we're off. <clears throat> it's a nice ride up this way. Quebec's got lots of nice countryside, that's for sure. I love driving through the back roads, waiting to see what's coming around the next corner. Really have 
have to leave your backyard to find some awesome spots to camp and adventure in. We live in a real nice country. We're lucky to live in Canada. thing about this place is you you get to pick your own site you basically uh, find a spot that's not being used and, and you call it your own so first come first serve so you want to get a good spot and you're planning on staying for the weekend come up on Thursday one night early and you'll get the best spot available beautiful lake and beach as you can tell you can bring your boat or sea doo or ATV or uh, whatever you want up here they're they're very easy going lots to do Came, I stayed right there on that right on that hill there under those trees perfect view of the stars there was a real clear sky and all kinds of falling stars it was, it was perfect we're gonna try to get up into the trees this time because there's a lot of wind and we want to be able to have a fire and not freeze since it's there's a frost advisory for tonight so Want, do you want to drive up the hill and see if there's anything up there? Like, it's up to you. I don't really care. I've walked all, all those. Like, those are more... Uh, not much Not much space, eh? There's not a fuck of a lot of space up there. Yeah. You want to park and walk them? I don't care. Sure. That spot's nice because it looks like... I like this area. Nice. Like yeah, yeah. There's a super nice view and the stars yeah. are amazing. The wind seems to have died down. So... It's up to you, man. I don't care. The wind's not going to bother me inside my tent. No. No, it won't bother me in here. You make the call. Have you walked up there and down the other side before? I know there's sites on the other side, eh? Yeah, like some down here and over there. Yeah. And there's some up the top and over, the, over there. Yeah. I, I, I think... 
we rode around there last time, but I don't remember, like, honestly. Yeah, no. Like, seriously, find a spot you like. I really don't care. It's you liked it down there, but you were level between those trees? Oh, yeah, I, I, it doesn't matter. Regardless, I've got blocks of wood. I can go anywhere. Do whatever you prefer, seriously. I'm easy, man. Me too. You said the sun was good there in the morning? The sun is right when you wake up, you're getting hit by the sun. Derby kicking turkeys. So, anyways, th this is the. Yep. Nice view straight ahead too. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Did you see the our your old spot was vacant down there? They're all vacant. <laughs> Nobody's here. It's a fucking ghost town. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is perfect. Face north or south. Okay. <laughs> that way, if we get a storm, it's not driving right in the fucking front of the tent. It's right. hitting sides. Yeah. So we'll get it. And if I face your camper, I'll have to take a piss in the middle of the night. That's gonna be awkward for you. I won't know. Well, you might not have a choice. I scream when I pee. I ah! <laughs> <laughs> it burns. <laughs> So handy. Yeah. We used them all last winter. Yeah. Just put one in. Yep. No fucking paper. Yep. One in, stack the kindling, light it, and done. That's it. And, and for me, it's like when you go camping and you're you're in a rush to get the fire going because it's getting dark and you know whatever. If I'm not in a rush, I won't use them. But or if uh, it's so easy, it's convenient, right? Yeah. I always end up bringing poogie sacks every time. Yeah. Or a poogie sack when I go camping. Usually one poogie sack will last us a, oh, yeah. a week and you only need a couple pieces. But yeah. Yeah, I bring one. A few of these. I, I put a pack in the back of the van that lasts the whole summer. <laughs> oh, yeah? This is the fun part of camping, setting up and getting... Says the guy who pulled in. That's right. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I'm done.
getting set up for the big adventure next year. What are you planning? Going to the Yukon, buddy. You really are? Oh, yeah. For real? Yep. I know you've been talking about it for fucking a year. Oh, yeah. I'm going on. It's going to be eight weeks. Does Stephanie know? Yeah. Or is, or is it a secret? I think. You can bury? Oh, shit. That's, is that just strawberries and peaches? Uh, what would that be? Let me think. Here. You know what? Don't tell me. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just leave it as a surprise. <laughs> See half of it's coming out around my hand. You ever seen any of these? It's a, it's a, what is that? It's a blower for lighting a fire. What? But it's for charcoal, but I use it. It, it seems like the, the pit's a bit wet, so it's taking a little bit of it. Okay. So you, you stick this close by and. Like in the bottom hole or whatever? Yeah. Oh, fuck, that's a great idea. <coughs> I have the big one too, that's my floor that I need to clean the floor of my van there to get the Okay, yeah. But that little fucking thing is the worst thing to turn around. Holy shit, eh? Where is it? I stuck it in the in the little blowhole on the other side. Wow, fuck. You ever get going? Yeah. You know, once it gets dried up in there. Gonna give the YouTubers a little tour of our campsite. I'm still getting used to this weird thing. So I so we're pretty much set up here. Looks pretty cool. A little fire. We got Darby over there getting naked in his tent. <laughs> Already, the sun's not even down yet. Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, nice campsite. Super nice view over here. I'll show you guys. When you wake up in the morning, you get the sun that shines right in on you. When it's cold, it's good. When it's July, it's not so good. But real nice view of the campground here. a golf course right there that's what you're seeing there in the distance there some golfers and stuff but yeah. real nice spot here and very cost effective you know 40 bucks and you can pick the spot you like and nice big sites washrooms right there it's perfect so we've got a little fire going derby's got his tent all set up <laughs> oh, there, there he is. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get uh, a few pints in us and finish setting up here. We get some get some shish kebabs on the grill here, so we have a snack for later. So pretty quiet. It's cold, so there's not a lot of campers out. Lots in their trailers, but not too many in tents, uh, and that's what this is a tent. This is the tent uh, locations. So. so if I'm talking to myself, it's because I'm talking to the fucking camera, obviously. It's only looking at your dick. That's right. That's all they want to see, anyways. I guess so. 
Welcome to Walk with Steph. <laughs> of course, we cleaned our hands before we did this. I didn't. But nobody else is eating, so. And not wasting any onion whatsoever. <sighs> Give me a handful of garbage. I'm gonna go to the can. Well, I guess we can burn all the food shit. I'm thinking. Is this garbage? Now. No. That's my seasoning. It's, uh, Sorry, I didn't mean to say your seasoning was like garbage. <laughs> Sorry. My, uh. This. It's Montreal. <laughs> I just figured. Montreal steak spice and, and uh, olive oil. Okay. Exactly. Let's see. You're Mexican. Yep. I am tonight. That's what you want me to be. <laughs> okay, Juan. Juan Valdez. Olive oil, Montreal steak spice, onion, little potatoes, toss that shit. These make, uh, if you make too many of them the night before, the next day for breakfast, they're like hot sauce. Super simple, like good for camping. You can do this at home, right? And then just bring the bag and it's ready to go. Yeah. Then you go yourself to the dollar store. You go yourself to the dollar store. Or you get your wife to go for it. And you buy this Betty Crocker tinfoil because it's like friggin' tarp material. Like you can't rip this shit. <laughs> nice. Otherwise, you're gonna find yourself with fucking tape and all over the place. Yeah. And you get your shit into the tinfoil here. I was going to say that sounds like Jack's construction Because mm -hmm. anybody thought about getting an off sticker and putting it right after the Jack's? You never saw that? Did you? Yes. Oh, I figured someone must have because so I was thinking of it. When I was in, when, well, when we were in, the first time we camped with Jack, actually, Jack was in Steam at okay. Leslie. Yeah. I had uh, green masking tape in my truck. Okay. And I went out in the middle of the fucking night, and on both sides, everywhere he's got the logo on both sides of the truck, yeah. I wrote me off me under off. Jack's. That's Jack's awesome. me off. You never noticed. You never noticed. No. Christine was on the point of that when they were leaving. That's hilarious. So, yeah, little burrito, potato burrito. A burrito. Nice. There's the fucking skunks already. Is it? Are you serious? Yeah, look at them come. They're coming right up here. No way. Yeah. Fuck me. They're not shy, man. But they're also not sprayers because you don't smell them, right? He's looking fucking right at me. Jesus Christ. See, if they were sprayers, because they're fucking everywhere here. Well, the, they're sprayers. They just choose not to at the moment. No, but I, but I know if 
if they were sprayers, the whole fucking campground would stink. Yeah, but if you piss them off, you will spray. Well, that's the thing. But you just walk up to them and be like, hey, hey, get out of here. And they walk away. But if you run up, and like, boom, boom, oh, yeah. it's a terrible fucking idea. Well, see, he's smelling the food, the cocksucker. Maybe. I'm not sure if he sucks cock. I don't know if he's that kind of skunk. But, uh... Like, he'll crawl right into the fucking van to get food, I'm sure. Well, he's heading for it, so we'll run to find out. He's, he's, he's the, really heading right for the fucking van. Here. <laughs> you might want to keep the door closed. <laughs> but yeah, we were sitting by the campfire, and uh, they come over and they, s like, right fucking. Derby's got his little poverty pack here. Chef Boyer Darb. Chef Boyer Darby. In the kitchen. What's this called, Darby? Let us know what this is this all about. This is here. called diarrhea. Diarrhea in well, a bag. It will be in an hour. <laughs> so you add water to this dehydrated uh, noodles and beef. Okay. 15 oh. minutes later, you have a meal. Wow. And uh, super convenient. About an hour right? from then, it gives back. Well, <laughs> a poop explosion. Yeah, that's why I bring toilet paper. Nice. Yeah. So you just you boil your water on your little on your little stove yep. guy there and just toss it in the bag. That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. I think that's super convenient when you're going camping. You don't have to get all elaborate with the cooking like I'm doing. It's which, not a lot of work, and it's uh, it actually fills you up pretty good. Yeah, I should yeah. I should try that. I wonder. They're like fucking. Thirteen bucks each. They're not cheap. What's but you can get them on sale for nine if, if they're rotten and expired. <laughs> Canadian Tire. I was just looking at what's on it. See, twenty four percent sodium is like super. I couldn't do that. That's, but set a timer for fifteen minutes. I got some chicken in a bag here. Chicken shish kebab thingies. That's. That's what I've got going on. Normally don't cook that much. I usually don't cook at all when I'm camping, but I figured tonight I'm cooking. Thank God someone brought real food. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Snacks for the whole night there, really. And we got potatoes in a in a bag right there. So we'll get that going. Once the plastic is done burning on the fire, we'll throw the chicken on. Chicken's on the grill. Snack coming right up. We got skunks and everything around here. It's the only problem. We have to really watch out. That yeah. They don't uh, crawl into your tent. They can't do zippers. They don't have uh, opposable thumbs. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Oh. I saw eyes. Are you all set? That's a little close. That's a little close, yeah. That's weird, dude. Pepe Le Pew over here visiting, and he's a dozen feet away from us. Hey. Derby's trying to befriend them. Throw them on the grill. I wonder what skunk tastes like. Probably <laughs> tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say it tastes like. You know, whatever tastes like a skunk's ass. I don't know uh, what a skunk's ass tastes like, but we're about to find out. Dude, he's, he's gonna come and like he's gonna come and fart on you. You'll bathe me. Oh, and I was getting full shadow on something. Oh, he's itchy. <laughs> oh, his tail went up a bit there. <laughs> he's like, just fucking chilling, eh? My God, I'm just itchy. No big deal. And he's gone.
morning folks what was a good night's sleep that diesel heater did its job kept it at about 14 degrees in here all night it was perfect it's like just above freezing outside Mr. Barbie. <laughs> He's awake. He just had his morning poo, so I bet you he feels better. I guess it's time for coffee. <clears throat> it's too cold up there. I'll sit here and make my coffee. Yeah, it must just be frozen. I mean, it is zero. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't see the phone because it's black in there. All I see is your hands like this. Like, are we doing shadow puppets? Yeah, we are shadow puppeting. Uh, yeah, Derby's getting his coffee going out there. Had a good night's sleep. Diesel heater really did the job. How many Walmart bags do you need anyways? I just dug these out of the cupboard. I think I'm gonna. I guess those are going in the house when I get home. Well, we're gonna have some coffee and hang out for a little bit, and then uh, we're gonna get out of here. I think I'm gonna do an overnight camp trip with the lovely Mrs. Beard today. Maybe a little casino night and. Camp out, little boondocking somewhere. Fun little outing with the lovely lady. So, gonna get this coffee going. Start today. of his bike in the in the fog it's pretty foggy for sure it's gonna be a nice day though this is a nice spot to camp I'm pretty happy about that other than the skunks they're uh, very friendly I guess they're used to being around campers and getting free food and stuff but make some coffee more coffee it's one of these double coffee kind of mornings Sun goes down on my side of town. We gotta, uh, we gotta take the uh, change oil pan on Lindsay's car. Oh shit! It's just seeping. Yeah. Um. So you're, are you taking it somewhere? No, I'll do it at home. But I'm gonna drain the. I want to drain the oil tonight. Yeah. Just get it up on the jack, pull the fucking drain plug, and let it sit overnight. You don't drip. That way tomorrow, like, hopefully, it'll be a little less of a fucking disaster. Yeah, you know? For sure. Yeah, there's, there's no cross member under that oil pan? No.
I think this is a golf course up here. Derby says it's not. So we're going to go investigate. Just because there's golf carts doesn't mean there's a golf course. <laughs> oh wow. Fucking sunshine. Yeah, it's warm in the sun, eh? Yeah. Fog is going to lift. Guys, we'll walk up on someone getting a little bone. Maybe there's a little loving going on, loving on a golf cart. They need to set the cows free on this field because she's deep. Oh, my feet are soaked. My feet are also soaked. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing my screen. <laughs> Oh wow, this trail goes a long ways. For the skunks live. Yeah. I wonder if the trail goes to the golf course. I would imagine that's probably why I saw golf carts and people hitting golf balls. They must have been Maybe. practicing or something. Well, we thought we'd be in the sun, but we're in the shade down there. Definitely a little, yeah, it's true, isn't it? a little warmer oh, up here. You're talking to me, jackass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is Darby McDonald here. I want to ask you something, Darby. Ahoy, hoy! <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, how is it? How does it feel to be Darby McDonald? Heavy. It feels heavy is and that, hungry. Is that <laughs> and a, a lot of gurgling? <laughs> is that every day or is that just today? That's every day. That's every yeah, day. Yeah. Okay. So we just want we just wanted to see what it was like to be Darby McDonald. Now everybody knows. Perfect. So hungry, gurgly, slippery, slippery. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's a day in Darby. Ew. Well, we're just packing up there. Quick little overnighter, Mr. Darby over there taking a bath yeah there he goes see do, 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 do. <laughs> so we're almost packed we're gonna head out of here <clears throat> I think I'm going on another adventure tonight with my lovely wife so it's a beautiful day it turned out to be way nicer than I expected it to so take advantage of the tail end of the summer real nice campground here in uh, Notre Dame's low Quebec Canada there's a golf course right there if you're into golfing so you can jump on a golf cart and head over to the T just down a trail where we're walking there not too long ago so yeah real nice spot definitely be back again so, gonna go home make some plans with the wife nice one <laughs> anyways thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you're not and we'll see you on the next one say bye Darby bye Darby <laughs>